Panther Magazine, the Panther Platform Lookbook and the official publication for the Panther Platform. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Derek from Panther Magazine and thanks for checking out the channel. So pretty much, I kind of got tired of my cluster. I wanted to do something with it. I don't have an extra cluster laying around. I want to put a Marauder one in there without the Marauder words on it. Um, I don't even know if that's possible. I may have to get like the white sticker and then go around this part, the black part, to cover that. Um, but I do have stickers. I do have Panther Magazine stickers, so I plan on putting one inside on the actual cluster, not on the not on the glass. So I pulled over not even five minutes from my job just now, and I'm gonna attempt to take the cluster off and um, yeah, put the sticker on there and add some decoration to the 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis GS. Initially, I took the radio out because I thought that the radio had something to do with it, but it didn't. Um, you actually have to take this, this trim off here in order to get the cluster off. So I used a screwdriver and just pulled it to the side at the end and it just popped off. So. We're looking at this right now. Now it looks like there's one, two, three, four bolts that you have to get out. And I'm assuming once you take those out, this whole piece comes off and you can get to the cluster. There's also one on this side here. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's also one right here. Um, I'm gonna take that off. It's, it's pretty easy. I'll show you how easy it is actually. Oh, it's not even this piece here is not the trim you actually have to take this whole piece off which is already kind of loose and there's a bolt here as well and a bolt here as well so this first one this first bolt is kind of in an awkward position as you can see um the steering wheel is pretty close to this my hand is like on it and i have my socket on there and i'm gonna attempt to try to get this off um, it's gonna take some muscle but uh, you can definitely do it. That looks pretty loose already. Not really, that's my mind playing tricks on me. Um, Like I said, this is kind of awkward, the position that it's in, but... That's the first one. I'm going to take out these next three and then I'll uh, take out the one on the side here and then yeah, I'll catch back with you guys in a second. So, got the bolts out. Now this just really just pops off. Just like this. There's some wires in here that you may have to disconnect, but um, yeah, the cluster just comes right off, right off of the car. kind of don't want to take these wires out but I have to so I can get behind the glass um, I can show you there's some wires here I don't think I need to get rid of these or unplug those but these wires here look like they have to go there's none on the other side but these have to go in order to get this all the way off so I'm going to take those off and come right back right, you can see got this out it was pretty easy um, I know some guys probably take the steering wheel off to make it a little bit easier, but I didn't want to do all that. Um, I disconnected these wires here, which were for the lights, so the car might uh, do the dinging noise like it is now. It looks like there's a few more screws. 
underneath the cluster that I have to take out in order to get the cluster out. There's one, two, three, looks like on this side, three on the other side. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I took all the screws out, the, the gold screws that were here. Um, it took a, let me check real quick. 5.5, where is it at? So I took all the screws out. Uh, I took a 5.5 millimeter socket to get the gold uh, screws that were in here. And um, as far as, as far as these screws that um held the trim together, that was a, I think I want to say 5.5. Let me see, I have it right here. Um, actually a seven, a seven millimeter socket. So you need a seven millimeter socket as well as a 5.5 to take the uh, cluster apart. I don't have to take the whole thing out. I just need to get the uh, this glass out. And so there's one more screw here. It's already loose kind of took me a while I see why guys take the um take the steering wheel out when they do the cluster because it was kind of hard getting a couple of the screws out on top of the cluster um, so yeah and this comes right off uh, I never realized how dirty a panther could possibly be uh, this car needs a detail from like the inside of the cluster to the seats uh, it's an older car so it's kind of expected I guess, but um, but it's still a clean Panther. Um, so yeah, so we got this off. Pretty easy. Uh, it's a lot easier to take the steering wheel off, but um, I didn't take the steering wheel off, and I still got it off, um, the glass off. To take the entire cluster off, you would have to. There's um, four more screws you would have to take out. You have this one here. I believe that's a seven millimeter socket. Um, yeah, there's four of those, and then I'm pretty sure the whole cluster pops out. And um, yeah, so I don't have an extra cluster laying around, but again, I was I just looked at it on the way home from work, and I got kind of tired of it. So there's not much I can do without an extra cluster uh, hanging around. So I do have a Panther magazine sticker here. And I just plan to put this somewhere on the cluster and just give it a little razzle dazzle. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got the sticker on there. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, I didn't know where else to put it. I could have put it here maybe, but I put it here where the high beam light is. Uh, I'm not sure if the high beam light will still show through the sticker. Uh, again, I disconnected the, um, the wires here for the lights. Um, so we're gonna have to wait and see but I mean the brake light will still come on and all the other lights will still be visible. So um, Yeah, I guess that's pretty much how You take a cluster off. I didn't take the entire cluster off as you guys seen, but it's pretty simple I mean from here you just take out these there's four screws here four bo four bolts the seven millimeters uh, For the socket and the whole cluster pops out So a cluster swap is really simple um, I just took the glass off, it's dirty as heck. I need to clean it. But now that I know that I, that I can do it, I definitely will clean everything at some point. Um, this is my first time doing this, so it's pretty cool. Again, the whole trim has to come off. I have this, um, this has to go back up. And this is for, this trim is obviously for around the cluster, so. That's pretty much how you remove a cluster and the glass for the cluster. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.